Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic 3 video. And in today's video, I am going to be showcasing and demonstrating the return to home feature, also known as RTH. Now, return to home is a fail safe feature in that it is something that can come in very handy when you need it. Now, keep in mind there are two different ways um, return to home can be activated or kicked in. Uh, the first way is, is you can just literally manually either hit the icon inside the DJI Fly app that tells the drone, hey, return to home, or there is actually a physical button on the remote itself that you can push and hold and the drone will return to home that way too. So again, you can manually, by doing either one of those, tell the drone to come home, or if you set the settings up to do so, you can have the drone return to home when you lose signal from your remote controller to your actual aircraft. So let's go ahead and get inside the DJI Fly app and I wanna make sure that you know and understand how you can set your drone's behavior to return to home in the event of loss of signal. Okay, so to do this, you want to go in the upper right hand corner and you wanna tap on those three white dots and you will notice that you get some options. Your little menu comes up and underneath the very first tab item, which is safety, and you can tell you're there by the underline under the word safety, you wanna scroll down clear to the bottom and you wanna tap on advanced safety settings. Now, the very first item there, it says signal loss. You have three options, return to home, descend, or hover. Don't know about you guys, but if I'm flying my drone and something happens, I get disoriented or whatever the case may be and I lose sight of my drone and it goes so far away and we totally lose signal, or maybe perhaps I drop uh, the remote controller and then the cord pops off, therefore making you know a signal loss issue. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want my drone to just hover there. Um, the signal's lost, it's just gonna hover there until possibly the battery dies, especially if you don't know where it is. I understand that if you know where your drone is, um, once you get closer to it in proximity, then you'll get your signal back and then you can gain control of it. But I, why not just have it you know, return home? Also, why would you want your drone to just start descending? That doesn't make any sense either. I'm sure there have to be some scenarios in which you would wanna maybe utilize one of those two options in the event of a signal loss, but I can almost guarantee it 99.9999999 forever on the nines um, percent of the time. I'm gonna just have my drone return to home in the event of a signal loss. So there is how you get to that and set the behavior of what you want your drone to do in the event of a signal loss. All right, so now, very important, you need to make sure that your drone has a home point stored because that's going to be the coordinates that the drone knows to come back to and land. That is its home point. So if you will look down in the far left hand corner of the DJI Fly app, you'll see a little map icon. If you tap on that, if it's not already this size, this big, then it'll pull it up like that. If you tap that, then it toggles from what your drone's seeing to your little bird's eye map. Now, if you're looking at my map, you're thinking, wow, that's cool. I actually see satellite imagery. I've done a video in the past over map modes. It will be linked in the description. So be sure to check that out at the conclusion of this video. So as you can see, you see the little yellow ball with the black H. That means that's the home point. You see the little blue paper airplane icon. That is our drone. And then if you look underneath that, you'll see a little blue dot. You kind of see it moving around. That is this controller. So as you can see, our home point is right there where our drone is and basically where my controller is too, where I'm standing. We're all right here in a tight cluster. Now I'm going to take off here in a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys where my drone is taking off. I'll actually film it taking off so you guys can see and confirm where my home point is. That way it'll be handy to see how accurate it is when the drone returns back to home because as you may or may not know by now, when you activate return to home, you can take your hands off the sticks and it is on autopilot. So it's really cool stuff. But now that we have set our drone's behavior in the event of a signal loss, which you don't have to do every time. I forgot to mention that earlier. You just have to do that whenever you wanna make changes to it. So now that we've done that, and now that we made sure our home point is correct, we are going to launch the drone. All right, so as you can see from the footage on my drone, we are just about up to a little under 400 feet, and it'll stop there, keeping the drone under 400 feet. Um, 
FAA regulations here in the United States. Um, that is me down there that you can see. I'm just like this little dot. Uh, we got the, uh, the car mat to the left of me to where the drone took off from. And what I'm actually going to do is I am just going to fly the drone, oh, I don't know, a good thousand feet away just to get it away from us. And um, then at that point, I will show you guys how to, uh, you know, start your, um, you know, your return to home. And by the way, this little box that came up, flight altitude exceeds 394 feet, aircraft may be in violation of locals. It's 400 feet, but you know what? Just to bump it down a little bit, 365 feet, there you go. So anyways, all right, so now we are about 1,500 feet away. And what I am going to do at this point is, again, I can either push and hold right here, the little circle with the H, with the little down icon, or I can do it here on the app, which I'll do it on the app. Far left, center of the screen, we're gonna tap on it. Then you have two options. It can land where it currently is, or you can have it return to home. I'm going to push and hold, return to home. You hear a series of beeps, and then what do you know? Look at this, hands are not on the sticks, and the drone is going to return back to home all on its own. Now, when the drone gets closer to us, I'm going to grab this camera in which I'm talking to and take it off the tripod and film the drone so you guys can see how close it gets. And I will not put my thumbs on the sticks so we can see how accurate it is. Okay. So as you can see, hands are not on the sticks. There's my controller sitting there. We're going to see how close it gets. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I would say that that is pretty impressive. Now that you have seen that return to home has worked very successfully and returned exactly to where it took off from, uh, maybe you'll feel a little bit more confident and safe flying your drone, knowing that this feature is available to you. Now with all that being said, I feel like I could make an entirely different video just over this return to home here on this DJI Mavic 3 as opposed to the return to home the way it is on previous models of the drone. I'm kind of on the fence about how I feel about it, but as of right now before this major firmware update that's going to be supposedly coming out in January of 2022. Of course, right now I'm making this uh, video in um, early December 2021. So keep that in mind if you're watching this years and years in the future. It's irrelevant now at this point. But um, so what I'm getting at is previously you could go into your settings and you could set what is known as your return to home altitude, which is basically saying, hey, I want my drone to rise in altitude to X amount. So around here in Oklahoma, I, this is a very flat state, not a lot of mountains, not a lot of real diverse terrain. I mean, yeah, from east to the west part of the state, it, it changes. But for the most part here in this area where I live, I know for a fact that if I get up to 250 feet, I'm going to be safe. Um, no matter if it's trees or buildings or something like that. Now, yeah, of course, if I'm in Oklahoma City or some other, um, you know, booming metropolis here in Oklahoma, um, I may need to, you know, kind of rethink that and um, maybe look around, look at the landscape, see if I think any, you know, whether they're natural or man-made structures are that tall, but you guys get the point. So you could go through there in previous versions um, and previous drones and you can say, hey, boom, I want, two, I want my drone to go up to 250 feet, then I want it to go like this to the home point, and then I just want it to lower down. So that's awesome because that's just a good safe way to know you're up above everything. You don't have to worry about the drone crashing into anything. And then of course, a lot of the previous drones also have sensors. So to where if you were to mess up and have it return to home too low, um, technically speaking, the sensors should, you know, shoot out a signal and not allow you to do that. But 
with all that being said what's kind of frustrating about this new one is even if you go through there and set your return to home altitude as you may or may not have noticed when that drone was coming home just now it didn't stay at a set altitude and go like this and then drop straight down it literally went like this so essentially what it's doing is is it is taking the quickest shortest path from where it is to the home point that way no extra battery life is wasted it's going to take it the shortest amount of time to get home and the least amount of battery life so i'm all for that i'm cool with it also the mavic 3 has some amazing obstacle avoidance um, technology and so um, i guarantee it that if there was a big huge tree or even a building or something that would have been in the way as long as your sensors are on and everything i guarantee it it would go around it and everything would be fine but my issue is are these things called power lines they're so teeny tiny that i don't really feel very confident in the drone sensors picking up the power line every single time so while your drone may be doing this and dodging trees and doing this doing all this amazing stuff to miss these obstacles on this new way of returning home on the dji mavic 3 i can almost guarantee it it's not going to sniff out and miss a power line so with all that being said i believe and i hope for in the new firmware they should allow you the option to do it the old school way or to do it this new way because for instance right now where i'm at there are no power lines um, remotely around in this area where i'm at but uh you know say i'm somewhere else and there's tons of power lines i'm not gonna want to i'm not gonna feel very comfortable using this return to home method on the dji mavic 3. so anyways i know that's a lot of talking and you guys are mainly just here to see the demonstration of how return to home works and learn a little information about it but i did want to bring that up because it is important power lines are real and they cause a lot of problems with drones um, if you're not careful so anyways there is my video on return to home if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative please be sure to smash that thumbs up button also please be sure to subscribe and tap the little bell notification icon to never miss any future dji mavic 3 uploads as always guys i enjoyed it this is dylan and we'll see you in the next one